Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What I've guessed today is a brand new division video and today I'm going to be talking about the new shield that is active in the game right now if you log in. So what it's called, it's called the Marshall and pretty much all you have to do is unlock all the exotic weapons and gear in the game in order to complete this shield. Now it does sound pretty easy and simple but honestly this is probably one of the hardest shields that we have gotten as of right now. Um, it's a little bit easier, I would say, for the veterans because if you have been playing, you most likely have everything already either in your stash or you're using it um, or you just really know how to get it really quickly and stuff. But if you are a new player, if you're coming back, this um, is, is going to take you some time. And for me, I have been playing the game for a really long time, but as you guys can see, I'm still missing some exotic weapons. So, you know, I, I, I do understand that this is going to be one of those shows that not a lot of people complete. But I want to make this video give you guys some tips and tricks and also I want to provide you guys with a list of all the exotic weapons that are in the game and also the gear pieces because unfortunately um, they do not list any of them. They just show you the number you have and what you need. So as you guys can see I have 5 out of 24 and for the gear I have 6 out of 6 which is really good. Um, but for the weapons you, you don't really know which ones you have and which ones you're missing and which ones you have to grind for. So I want to show you guys this list, and as you guys can see, uh, these are all the weapons that are in the game that are exotics. So we have the Big Alejandro, the Bullfrog, Caduceus, Cassidy, Centurion, Damascus, and so on. Uh, there is a lot of them, so again, you have a little kind of sheet that you can see what you are, uh, you know, missing and what you have and stuff like that. And also for the gear, we have the Barrett's Bulletproof Vest, the Bliss Holster, Pharaoh's Mask, Ninja Bike Backpack, uh, Sharpbow Knee Pads, and the Skull MC Gloves. For the gear, it's a little bit easier to remember and see what you're missing and when you have. Uh, but for the weapons, I'm kind of curious why they didn't make a kind of checkoff sheet. Um, you know, so so it says like what you're missing and if you have it, it's checked off. And if you don't have it, it's kind of grayed out. I, I think that would be a little bit like more simple for uh, new players or returning. And uh, I don't know, just in my opinion, it just makes a little bit more sense. Anyways, I do want to talk about some tips and tricks and talk about some ways you can get specific gear if you're missing um, something. So first of all, for anyone curious, yes, you can buy the exotics out of the Avenger if you're missing something like the Cassidy or Historian, the Liberator, whatever you need. Um, you can buy those exotics and kind of add them to your collection. They're going to count, which is uh, probably the fastest way and easiest way. All it is, it's pretty much some Phoenix credits and then boom, you have those weapons in your stash or your inventory. But besides that, you have to go out and farm whatever else you need, which kind of sucks. It's going to be a lot of time uh, consuming and... Uh, pretty hard as I said for those new players and returning. Um, also if you are missing a bliss holster I recommend doing the general assembly. Here you kill the boss Charles Bliss and he has a good chance of dropping the bliss holster. Um, something like if you're missing a Barrett's uh, chest or the showstopper I recommend doing the Lexington center. Just replay that you can kill uh, Lori Barrett and she has a good chance of dropping the uh, chest piece or the shotgun. And also I am pretty sure if you do uh, Napalm, you can get the Pharaoh's Mask pretty easily as well, and I do think um, for the Lexington Center, you can also get the MDR from um, as well. So if you're missing any of those exotics, those are the specific areas you can grind and uh, and actually have a good chance of getting those exotics. I do know there is some more in the game, like some more missions you can do for specific exotics. If you do know, let me know in the comment section below. I will pin your tweets, um, or not your tweet, your comments, uh, so other people can see it. But those are just the ones I know off the top of my head. Um, so again, Lexington, Napalm, and General Assembly for any of those exotics. The next thing I do want to say is if you are going for the shield and for some reason it's not locking for you if you have all the weapons and gear already on your character, make sure everything is either A in your stash or your inventory. I have heard and seen uh, some tweets and some Reddit posts that this shield is not unlocking if um, some of the items are in the stash or inventory. So I would really recommend having everything either in one place, again, in your inventory or stash. And just to make sure if it's not working, um, if everything is in your stash, just transfer everything on your inventory, like on your character. A, it's going to be a little bit easier to see what you're missing and what you have. And B, uh, you can be kind of reassured that it's going to unlock as soon as you pretty much collect everything. And uh, it's not going to glitch out. It's not going to say you're missing something. Um, because again, I have seen some tweets and some Reddit posts of this happening to other people. Now the next thing I do want to talk about is the missions I would recommend doing in farming for exotic gear and weapons. So first of all the first thing you would want to do is doing your um, weekly assignments. These are pretty good for exotic items and uh, again they're, they're pretty easy so you can knock them off 
probably within an hour or so, and uh, they usually have really good drops, either exotic gear or weapons. Uh, so, so that's the first thing. Second of all, doing legendary missions. As you guys know, the first week, if you haven't done any of them, you are guaranteed exotic cash, so you can do those. Uh, play with your friends or just random people. They usually drop um, exotics that they have duplicates of or whatever, so that's, a, that's another easy way of getting exotics. And then if you've already done uh, those legendary missions within that week, I would still recommend replaying them. You have a good chance of getting exotic towards the end um, when you kill the boss. Uh, because as you guys know, it's a legendary mission and everything is a little bit more difficult. So towards the end, you have a good chance again of getting exotic gear, exotic weapons, or even some classified items. The next thing is, and this is a little bit more for solo players, and that is actually doing the open world bosses. The only thing that sucks about them is you can only do them every four hours. So if you complete all of them, you will have to wait. But again, in that time, I would recommend uh, probably doing some incursions or again, legendary missions so you can up your chances and get whatever you need. And then lastly, going into the dark zone and actually doing the contamination areas or the uh, the landmarks or just, just pretty much just cruising around the higher DZs like DZ8, DZ9 and uh, actually killing the, the named bosses like the, the yellow bars will have a good chance of dropping exotics for you. Uh, I'm not really sure about you guys, but my RNG and the way uh, the dark zone works for me a little bit is when I go in those higher DZs, I kill those bosses they usually drop exotics, it's nothing uh, too special, but again, if you're missing like the Caduceus or just, you know, the showstop, whatever it is, you have a good chance. Again, it's just RNG, but uh, you could try that out if you don't really like playing PvE. If you are a PvP player, you could do that and see if you can get lucky. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much the thing I would recommend farming. Obviously, Playing with friends, playing with teammates that will drop you stuff if they have duplicates off or whatever you need will help you out as well. It's going to speed up the process. But besides that, I mean, you could also try the underground if you have the DLC. Killing the hunters will pretty much guarantee you exotics, I would say, 9 out of 10 times, if not 10 out of 10 times, at least for me. So, uh, you know, any of those items, anything, anything like that, you have a good chance. But at the end of the day, it's all RNG. It's all about grinding. And this is one of those shields that you have to grind, you have to play, and you have to occasionally get lucky in order to complete. So um, again, I do understand if you don't complete it, I do understand if it's a little bit frustrating, but if you are one of those people that likes grinding, if you want to uh, just you know have something to invest your time in, this is a really good shield if you're missing exotic items uh, just to pretty much play and, uh, and grind. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll respond to all my comments. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.